Hello everyone, I'm Chintan and in this video today we are learning how to model the NAND gang of this tower by IDOS. So let's take a look at how to model that inside of SketchUp. Let's go. So start by making a rectangle and that should be of size 60 by 20 meters. So make that and using the push pull tool, the shortcut for which is P. Give it a height of 120 meters now select this edge and move it down by 30 meters and using the line tool divide this edge from this midpoint to this midpoint now select this edge and move it across by 15 meters like this now select everything and make it a group Hitting Ctrl plus G. If you don't have that, you can right click and make group. Uh, like select everything, right click, make group. But you can set up these custom shortcuts to work faster. Okay, so I have that in the links down below somewhere. So find that and then come back and then follow again. So after that, we need to subdivide this whole geometry. So for that we need to bring on the artisan plugin so this is the artisan plugin so this subdivides the geometry so hit subdivide but as you can see this cannot be a building as we want the base to be based okay so edit this and offset this so this whole edge would act as a supporting loop for the geometry and now if we subdivide this it would be based on the ground you know gravity so if we double click and subdivide it further to four number of iterations four if you are on a laptop keep it to three okay chill close that and if we right click and explode and delete this we would be left with this pebble like structure somewhat like from the movie Ivan. okay now unlock it and now we need to make a rectangle what bigger than this pebble and make a copy of this rectangle 20 this is nice now select all these and we would intersect these with the model right click intersect faces with model okay Select everything hit delete Select these lines, hit delete, delete. So what that did is sort of gave us these contours inside the shape. Okay. So what we need to do now is select everything, deselect this and offset these faces like outwards. For that we would use the TIG smart offset tool as you can see I have set up control plus alt plus F for that so control alt F and offset it by one meter now if you don't hit anything and press delete the original contours would be deleted and you would be left with these hollow rings so select these rings to give them thickness use the joint push pull tool and give it a thickness of 0.6 meters now in the meantime this happens you can subscribe to my channel and jingle my bells and yeah have a coffee also maybe then come back
Okay, maybe a trip somewhere. Uh, let's go. Oh yeah, it happened. Now select these rings and make them a separate group. Now we need to do the same thing with the very same thing in this direction by vertically upwards so let's hide these for good measure and make a copy of it using the move tool along with the control key like this and I divide by 30 the center that would give you 30 copies like these don't select the pebble right click intersect faces with model then select these again hit delete select these extra geometry delete now select these and these would be our flaps of the building so to give them thickness use the join push pull plugin best plugin in the world and give it a thickness of 0.3 meters and in the meantime this happens you can follow our discord and if you have any doubts you can push them there and yeah it's almost done so yes we have this and if we bring back our rings give the pebble a glass material and let's say that it is made of glass turn on shadows hide our axis uh, some would say we are almost done so yes this is it the nan gang office tower by aidas inside of sketchup so you can use this technique to make all sorts of crazy fluidic parametric whatever trick shapes and buildings so yeah good luck and i would see you in the next one bye